I hate chasing people down in video games more than anything else. For some reason it just gets on my nerves and I hate it so much because no matter what you do, you're always like a thousand steps behind and it's just ridiculous. It always gets out of hand. Fucking Man, I thought I would have took that bitch's head off with that fucking axe. But it doesn't seem to be working like that. I wish we had a gun or something. Fucking get off of me, bitch. Oh, he just fucking slapped the shit out of me. Hopefully I can get... Get off of me, bro. <laughs> that was a total fail. I was trying to push him in front of the window so that the helicopter, you know, did its job and stopped trying to shoot me and actually did something to help out civilization or what's left of it and kill these fucking zombies <laughs> but for some reason it's after me I don't know if it's because I can think for myself and I can fucking oh, oh here we go oh shit oh shit dude that was perfect right into the garbage oh what the fuck how in the hell how in the hell did I die that doesn't make any sense to me. There's no reason I should have died for that. I landed on a nice pile of garbage. Why the hell did you Fucking run bullshit. I'm fine. I know my way around. They're trying to kill you, kid. Think about that for a second. Let me help you get home. What's the fastest way underground from here? There's a sewer portal on the other side of the park. Then let's go. Run for it. So if this kid knows his way around, then why in the hell am I out here trying to escort him back underground? It makes no sense to me, and I don't know why I had to volunteer to do this, or I'm doing it to get my weapons back, but fuck, what in the hell is happening right now? I'm tripping big time. Lydia. My sweet Lydia. <laughs> oh yeah. Randy is seriously on some kind of drugs because that girl just bursts into a pile of leaves. Now I'm not sure where he picked it up, if it was along the way without me looking, and I uh, just kind of let it sit there for a while if he just ingested it on his... So we found a lost page to Randy's diary, and I'm going to go ahead and let this go for the duration of while I'm talking, and if you want to pause it, feel free. So that technique only works in cutscenes. What? What the hell is the matter with you? Why didn't you shoot? They almost killed me, dude. My daughter. I'm sorry. I, I, I saw her. There was no one there. Only the shadows behind you. Let's go through here. If the rat knows that you won't get out of here again, boy. I'll punish you. You'll learn to behave yourself. I discovered where your friends are. They were taking them to the stadium just a while ago. To the stadium? In the beginning, it was the safest place in all of Seattle. Even more so than the Space Needle. A fortress of high cement walls protected by the military. But today, they've made it into one more horrific ring of hell. And what about my wife and daughter? What about them? I looked and listened hard. I couldn't find any trace of them. If they have been captured by these men also, your friends may know. I need to go now. I've lost too much time already. Be careful, Mr. Wade. Those men are dangerous. According to what the rat told me, if I cross the parking lot, I'll come to the stadium used as a safe place for Just when I started to give that kid some kind of props and be like, oh, you're an adult, you can totally do this on your own. What does he do? He throws it in my face and he gets trapped by a bunch of fucking dead people like I am right now. I've just cornered myself. What the fuck? But he goes and he gets trapped in a, not in a room, but like on a ledge, like wall thing. And he gets trapped and he's like blaming me like, how come you didn't shoot them? They almost killed me. I didn't shoot them because your dad took my fucking gun, you little dickhead. According to what the rat told me, if I cross the parking lot... <laughs> and great, we got the, the whole stadium, redo method in effect, so... Here we go for a second time. 
Luckily, we are so lucky that we get a chance to prove ourselves every time we die. It's like, redemption round, you got this. Beat some ass, Randy. By the way, I couldn't find your wife and kid, so take this axe that you had to find again, because I'm not giving you- <laughs> get off of me! Because I'm not giving you your fucking gun back. Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck your face, you fucks. Oh my god. <laughs> get out of here, bitch. Oh, <laughs> I seriously thought that I was going to be screwed again. <laughs> I thought that it was going to be the end once again and we were going to be so fucked up. <sighs> darkness does not exist. What we call darkness is the light we can't see. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Good thing we have that Sylvester Stallone grip. You can purchase it on Xbox Live if you haven't already. It's one of the skills next to wall running and shit like that. It really helps out. It's like three cents and I'm totally not being serious right now. So don't think that you're going to go on Xbox Live and find fucking wall running and cliffhanging. Sylvester Stallone grip. It's non-existent. So don't go looking for it, please. <laughs> now I'm gonna struggle to find my way out of this parking garage, which is great. I hate struggling in these motherfucking games, but... <laughs> It has to happen. Someone has to struggle. No playthrough or let's play is going to be perfect. So you're welcome. See, it's always the simplest things. If I knew I had to jump over the A-Team van, then I would have been good from Jump Street, but... Oh, 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 fuck. What the hell? Are you serious? What the fuck? Damn it. I rarely make the same mistake twice in a video game, so we are back here to finish what we couldn't do the first time, and it's done. Simple as that. We're not getting bitch slapped by any zombies, so we're not gonna die. <laughs> and it looks like we're going back in an air duct, which sucks, and we're out of the air duct, so I mean that's good, and we're just shooting faces to make way so we can fucking mow other people down with this axe right here. <laughs> I don't think that if I was alive, or if I was dead, I think that a shot to the face with an axe would hurt equally the same. Those men from the new bar the message to dry in the innocent survivors. But I guess who really knows who's experienced being slapped in the face with an axe in the first place, and if you have, how are you still alive? Those little crawl spaces always get me. They've gotten me this whole game. I don't know if I'm just not used to them, even still, if I'm not used to them, but I have no idea how I can possibly prepare myself to be ready for them because every time they're there, I always seem to fuck up. 
the wire is gonna fucking snap. I know it has to happen. It's already happened to us before when we were on a wire, so I'm kind of expecting it. There are shadows everywhere. Thousands of them. Taking refuge in the stadium. We would never have stayed safe from alone. What did I tell you? I told you to go on Xbox Live and buy that cliffhanging perk. It's totally legit, and it's gonna help you out in every situation possible. So let's get these fucking dead bastards in a group so then we can beat feet through this fucking parking lot because it's a big spot and there's so many people and it's not a place we want to be, especially when we just have an axe and it, oh, I thought that we were going to get stuck there for a second and I was going to be fucked. This was the Emerald City once, but not anymore. Damn it, now I see what I have to do. It makes no sense to me that right now they're throwing in these complicated obstacles. They should throw some of that shit in the beginning, maybe a couple in the middle here and there, and then, you know, one really good one at the end. Instead of just throwing it all on you at the end and expecting you to know how to do it. I really didn't even have a clue, and then now I kind of just seem like, oh, well, fuck. There it is. But then you got some more crazy shit. And, uh, oh, fuck. It seems a little ridiculous to get into the fucking Seattle Seahawks stadium. But we're going to go with it. We really have no choice because our daughter and our wife might be there, but fuck. Come on, leave him alone. We'll take care of him soon enough. He's just a poor old man. That jackass says the real military will save him. Who does he think we are? Well, that poor old man hit me. This isn't the end of this. You hear me? 